Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new story called Miss Kitty's Antique. It just came out. I'm so excited for it. I haven't seen too much about it, but I feel like this, the outfits in this story is going to be really promising in the story as well. Without further ado, let's get into this video. If you like princess content or other cute stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out and you'll get updated every time a new story comes out and I will take a look at if it's worth it for you to play. So starting off with the first outfit, this is everything. Look at this. This is amazing. Okay, I love it. It's cute. It's simple. I like it being short. It has cute cats on the boots and the hairstyle is so pretty. I can see myself using it a lot. This is already... 10 out of 10 for me. I'm very excited to get this. Even though the socks and boots, if I look longer at it, it looks kind of silly. But the colors, cute. The hair, cute. I'm down. And it's only five to complete the whole outfit. And you get 100 diamonds for it. So that's a thumbs up. Next up is Springtide. This is also with cats. I think the whole story is with cats, but we'll see that once I read a few of the fear levels. This is not my favorite. The hair piece is not, but the dress is so cute. I love, I don't just like cats. It's that easy. It's Cats. Everywhere cats. We like this. Next up, we have Solemn Sun, which is not really my thing. I don't really like that much. The crystals are cute, but that's about it. Then we have the universe, which is also with cats. The shoes are so cool. It has little balls on it and it has cats. The side of the pants are cool as well. I like this as a two-piece. I don't know about the bell, but more cats. A lot of cats. Maybe it's a bit too much cat. Maybe a little bit. Then this is, oh my god, this is a win. This is a definitely win. Look at this. I like the asymmetrical hair. I love the colors. It has fox ears, I think it is. The shoes are really cute. I, I don't know what the floating thing is. I see it's a goldfish bubble, obviously. I love this. This is so cute. And it has a cat tail. Oh my god, I love that. So it's not fox ears. These are real. This is really cute. Cat pillow, which is not my kind of colors, but I love the pattern that it has on here. I wish we could have patterns like this in our own customization dresses because it's just lacking. This hair looks familiar as well from um, Times... Heartbeat, I think it's called. Kind of looks like that one. And I think the beret is really cute. And I love the sparkles on the dress. This story has great outfits. I am all down for this. Then I think these four are the Lucky Jerry outfits. Are they not? Yes. This is really pretty. I love the obvious ocean inspired. I love the waves in the back. I think this is very creative. The hair is so cute. Imagine using the hair with other things. Like some Jinx cosplay you would make in game. Would be perfect for there. Next up is Snowflake Queen. Not my favorite. I don't like the feel. It looks like an ABBA suit like they would wear in Mamma Mia, but then not it. I don't know. I don't really like it, but I do think the detail on the bottom is pretty cool and the shoes again are really cute. Next up, we have Fox Dream. This is an absolute win. This looks amazing. I do like how they use all the elements and seasons and all these outfits and cats. Such an amazing combination. It's really good. You can see where the inspiration comes from and how they implemented it just in the right way, in my opinion. I love the way they put extra flowers in here with more leaves to accentuate and the bottom. This is amazing. And then our last outfit has a bow and arrow with a special pose so thumbs up for that as well this is really cool i love her socks and the shoes the shoes are just a win on every one of them i'm very excited i can't wait i really hope this story is gonna be good so if I had to pick my favorite outfit, I think it would be this one or the first one even, the one that basically is free because just the colors and the kitty ears, those are definitely my favorites. So these were all the outfits, so let's have a look at all the companions. So this time around we have three companions. I like the outfits that he's wearing. He very much is the maple one that we just saw and I love, but he's ugly. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's his face. I don't know what it is. Next up we have Tino who's way cuter, but his outfit not too for me. And lastly, we have Yuga who's wearing the mask. So who knows what maybe it's gonna look like. So let's give him their level ups. I already pre-crafted everything. I felt like this would be faster this time around. Hi. 
I like to use the extra gifts in the beginning of the story to just like push my progress, but it's definitely not necessary. I did notice that they changed the level up. Look, they changed that little pop up, the color of it. I don't know why. I prefer it being purple than it being brown because brown just looks so blunt to such a colorful game. So I'm not really a fan that they've been doing that on everything. Even on the Parfum shop, it's too brown like why is this all purple why does it have to be brown i just don't know why to keep changing things that don't need to be changed so taking a look at the blueprints you can buy there are currently nine available so you want to know where they come from this is the ones you can buy in the store i'm just going to purchase them all real quick and these are the ones you can buy straight up in store so y'all can already see that most of it is already from the first two outfits so i'm just going through my mail real quick in between we got this ticket that gives so we got this ticket that gives you 48 hours there's no stamina being consumed when you enter story page so i think it only counts when you claim it so wait until you have the time to read all the stuff that you want so this can really help you out so keep in mind out for these cards so taking a look at the relics that i got this is the one from utah these relics look so cool i think this looks way cooler than the companions actually look oh he's cute <laughs> okay so it's time to do some lucky jerry's before i start reading the story I have almost 90 tickets, so let's do the 80 that I can do. This just got added in the update, so I think I'm just gonna do... Oh, you pay diamonds extra, that's a lot. Um, do multiple at the same time, so let's just start off with 20 tickets to see what it looks like. So don't show again, and let's see what we're gonna get. I'm very excited for all of the new stuff. We got the autumn earrings, okay. And then we're probably gonna get another item, right? Ooh, okay, let's just put in all the tickets that I have. Okay, so this is definitely from the Lucky Jerry outfit. And then next up we have, drum roll please. Okay, so it, it does count as separate ones. So this is just faster way to do it. I'm just testing it. So let's do 40 now since this is all I have. Oh, it takes only 100. Okay, so careful with this because if you max out, it's just gonna take all your diamonds and it's probably a sneaky way for them to make you spend it on accident. Just like with Fantasy Fair. So please be careful that you don't overspend. Really make sure that it's your ticket. So we're gonna do 50. Let's go. I'm really hoping on a dress. Okay, we got a ring. Fine. As long as there's no dupes. We got a relic dupe. Then we have some socks. They're socks. Interesting. Have not seen anything like that before, I think. And then we have more socks. Come on, where the dress is at? Don't be shy. Give me a dress. And we have more socks. Oh, it's an arm sock. But it's the mermaid one. That's it. That was it. That is way less exciting than doing it all separately, but it does certainly speed things up. Okay, since we just had World's Underwhelming Lucky Jerry, I'm just gonna get straight on to the story. I'm gonna be reading a few chapters as long as I can play or feel like playing right now, and then we're gonna go craft some stuff, and then I'll give my final verdict on how I like it so far. So I'm gonna be right back. I just went over the first three levels and what I can say so far, it's pretty good. It's kind of a murder mystery. So the world setting is that there are yokai, if you're all familiar with it, there are stronger ghost types. And then there are smaller yokai and yokai who can transform into human form, but they still have features off their original form. So uh, our character is a cat transformed into a human. And then we have the other companion, the white haired guy, I forgot his name. He is also with us in the store. He is a nine fox tail and there are other yokai in our store and we sell antiques and rent them out. So in this case, we have an antique that's been rented out, but they didn't come to deliver it. And when we go pick him up, the guy who had it died and we get framed for murder and put away. So we sneak out obviously out of prison as one does and we get back to our antique store and with everything that we have has been taken. So we want to find out who murdered the guy so we can prove that we are innocent and we can get our antiques back because we're having the antique store because we're looking for the super special pearl that's for that guy that lives with us. That's it so far. So it's just finding out who murdered the guy. There's probably a bunch of more happening. But so far, I like the story. I love the outfits. I would say it's a good read so far. So let's see what we can craft. So taking a look right now, I can already craft three and I have a bunch of blueprints and there's this new option that's been added to make you just spend more but you can buy without using encounters or the shop you can just spend diamonds to get it I don't recommend doing that because why would you you can always get it another way just a heads up after crafting a lot of the stuff already, they are pretty easy to make. There's not waiting for other blueprints from higher up levels. As you can see, I just ran out of stamina, so that's why I can't do it. But honestly, it's not that bad. It only takes 25, 23 for the hair example, 20 and 18. 
this may be a little bit more but it, it doesn't take as much as we've seen in other stories that you need other blueprints for so i think this is pretty good so as you can see i put a little outfit together with all the items that i've crafted so far and i think it's pretty good i like the story i like the outfits um i haven't read it all the way obviously but but so far i'm feeling pretty good about it thank you all so much for watching to the end of the video it really means a lot to me don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye